All right. So start you off. The base is six inches by six inches. Now these bricks I got like at an estate sale. If you don't know what that is, that's like a sale when, let's say, you owned a house and you lived alone. And you died. And you didn't have kids, or you did have kids, and they wanted to sell your shit. That's pretty much what an estate sale is. So I don't know how much the bricks cost in like a, a hobby shop, but I've seen them before in hobby shops. Um, they're pretty much all about the same size, but most of them, some of them are a lot bigger, and some of them a lot smaller. So they're not they're not like consistent. But you can like dig them out and find um, some that all just are about the same dimensions, just like real bricks. Sometimes they're just a little bit bigger, and you can break them in half. They're they're pretty hard. So just make like a little well, and you can go as high as you want. I think I went like four high originally, and then I didn't like the way it looked. I wanted it to be a little bit taller, and I did like an extra layer. But you definitely want to use like a good glue, because if you use like Elmer's glue or something, these things are going to fucking pop off. It took, it took forever to fucking line them up. Alright, so here I'm just doing like a little walkway up to it. You don't have to do this. You could just leave like the well and like make it like the, the well from the ring and make it all creepy and shit. And you can always paint the bricks too if you want them different colors. They stain pretty well, so there's some kind of like hard plastery like rock material. I mean, I broke broke one in half with my finger, so it's not like... Not like real like cement or anything. Give you an idea. There, I was, it was like this felt like it was too short, so I was like, ah, make it a little bit bigger. But you could do it however you like. I might do another one of these, but just like a regular water well, then build like a little like um little house with the um, the crank in the, the barrel or the bucket I probably wouldn't put any like water effects in that just paint the bottom black or something and I just you know texture it like normal don't forget to texture the inside and if you want to put water effects if you wanted to make it look like it's a, a regular water well um make sure you see you at least you um not seam it but um coat all the seams at least with like drywall mud or something else because the water effects will leak through any little cracks you'll see that later which i i kind of liked with the the blood it looked creepy as fuck. But if you're doing like a real well, you, you probably don't want that shit leaking through at all. I just added some like gravel and basing material. A lot of big chunks in there. Gotta sort that shit out. Looks like cat shit. The only thing I didn't really didn't really want to paint was the bricks. I like the bricks red. They looked cool, but you could easily like um paint the paint over the bricks and make them look like a like a regular stone color. It wouldn't be hard, and I, I think they would look fine. As a matter of fact, I'll I'll do another video because I just bought another fucking twenty five dollar bottle of water effects. And I'll make like just a regular well. I can put water in it, I guess. Just have to figure a way to seal that shit in. I 
maybe do like grass around it instead of like stone. The whole idea of this was like it's supposed to be like a weird well in the middle of like the city where um, like abominations and fucking monsters are spawning out of it. Like no one knows who built this shit, it's just kind of here and fucked up shit is coming out of it. You know, stuff you'd never normally see anywhere. And for the stone ground, you just do your regular, like, dark grays. Start with your darks, go with your lights. This was a lot of fun, though. This is probably one of the cooler ideas I had all week. Besides, the, like, toxic barrels, they came out really good. But I like messing with all, like, the little bricks. I still have a whole bunch. And this is your normal dry brush. Nothing new. Nothing fancy. Now the fun part. Like I said again, if you're gonna do like a regular well, make sure you like coat the inside, at least up to like the water level. You can probably use the drywall mud and then nothing will bleed through like how it's bleeding through now. But I think it's I knew this would happen. I just didn't I didn't care. And plus it's just it looks more creepier if like the wells like bleeding. I don't know. Spread it all out. If it looks like a murder scene, it's going to look good. Alright, so I let that dry for about two days. And I just took a whole bunch of skulls that I had from the, the Games Workshop skull pack. And I just placed them on top, and I added just a little bit of dye in another mix, and just enough to cover it. It's going to shrink down, so you're going to probably have to do an, another coat, and you, it's kind of hard. It's probably fucking near impossible unless you glue the skulls down, which there's no point because the the water effects is going to dry hard and hold them in place. Let's go back with like a uh, tweezers and move shit around. This is after a couple of days it's dried. You see one of the skulls didn't get covered all the way, so it just very little, you know, like a, less than an eighth of an inch just to cover everything, and it, it worked fine. There's always like a little bit of shrinkage. And you're still able to see through it and see all the skulls and shit. Just remember, just don't go crazy on the, the ink or the dye, you know. You want it to pretty much look like a like night quill. Where it's got like a little bit of a, I guess a pinkness, I don't know. Where you could see through it and shit. And then I just use the black wash on all the bricks and some of the floor, not all, not everything. And if you get any of the wash on the um, the water effects, you can just wipe it off with a wet rag. It comes off real easy. So it was kind of hard to, to really get a good picture of it. So this is outside. 
And you can see all the little skulls. Yeah. In person, or with the, your eye, it looks a lot better, and there's a lot less glare. But this water effects reflects like all kinds of fucking light. But you could see all the, like the the skulls. I got I took some still pics. You'll see them in a second. Yeah, this pic kind of sucks. It's kind of hard to see everything with the fucking light. This one was inside a house, that's why it's kind of orangey, but you can see everything better. It looks a lot better in person. But that's pretty much it. Fast, easy, you know. Anyone can do it. If I can, so can you. Alright, have a good day. Bye.